Peanuts has become widely recognized for its feature films and television specials over the years, but Shel Schultz's creations have also inspired series for both television and streaming, and these are worth looking at in their own right. The first of these was The Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show, which started airing on CBS in 1983. Each episode showcases a number of segments with the Peanuts characters as they take part in their day-to-day -day activities. The charm and humor of the comic strips and specials continued here, and the show was also an example of the growing emphasis on Snoopy at the time. I know there are some who believe Peanuts went downhill when Snoopy started getting more attention, but I don't see the problem with Schultz wanting to showcase him. Snoopy was the breakout character, and he was such a lovable and funny little beagle. The animated specials and shows choosing to focus on Snoopy also makes sense, as he's a character really made for animation. However, that's not to say that children do not get plenty of attention. We still have the delightful interactions between Charlie Brown, Linus, Lucy, Sally, Schroeder, Peppermint Patty, and the rest of the gang. The Charlie Brown and Snoopy show did recycle elements from the comics and earlier specials, but it was interesting seeing them depicted again. For instance, the first episode had Charlie Brown and Peppermint Patty sharing a desk and giving the same dialogue as seen in Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, and Don't Come Back, and it's fascinating comparing and contrasting them. The series also used the Let's Have a Party song from its Flash Beagle, Charlie Brown, as its theme song, and it was a fun way to start every episode. Despite the popularity of the comic strip and specials, the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show was not a big ratings getter, and only lasted 18 episodes. However, what was produced made for an enjoyable series nonetheless. A few years later, a miniseries titled This is America, Charlie Brown was made. This was an educational series that focused on the history of America, although what's fascinating about it is that no episode is structured in the same way. The first episode has the Peanuts gang actually on the Mayflower going to America. Meanwhile, in another episode, the history lessons are presented as reports in school. The episode about space travel is actually portrayed as a dream Linus is having about them becoming astronauts. This decision allows for variety in This Is America, Charlie Brown, as does the choice to focus on various subjects. Watching the first two episodes about the Mayflower and the Founding Fathers, I thought the series would be going in chronological order. It instead goes in whichever order it pleases, and that works very well. There's even a surprisingly meta element as the characters reference Charles Schultz, and there's a sweet tribute to the late Peanuts composer Vince Garotti. Something that may throw people off is that we actually do see and hear the adults in this series, many of which are voiced by Frank Welker. However, this does make sense, seeing as it focuses on historical figures, and it is fun to see Charlie Brown, Linus, and the others interact with the likes of Abraham Lincoln and the Wright brothers. While some elements are sanitized, I think This Is America, Charlie Brown is not a bad way for children to learn about history. Peanuts stuck mostly to specials following the end of that series, but in 2008, the Peanuts motion comics premiered on iTunes. These eight-minute episodes collected little strip-like shorts together with the characters. There are all the familiar hallmarks, like Charlie Brown trying to play baseball, Linus wanting to see the Great Pumpkin, and Snoopy sitting atop his doghouse. These shorts were able to translate the humor quite well, and provided their own touches too. One decision was to have thought bubbles over Snoopy's head, reminiscent more of the comic strips than the Bill Melendez productions. The Peanuts motion comics are simple by design, but they're no less charming, and they do the job of being smile-worthy. In 2014 came a French-Italian series simply named Peanuts. Each episode follows a story told via panels, and what impresses me the most about the series is the animation. There's an incredible fluidity to the characters, while still keeping the familiar Peanuts look intact. The directors do some clever visual tricks that liven up the animation even more. The stories presented also have the necessary humor as we watch these children and the world's most famous beagle navigate through life. I will admit I'm not entirely sure about the voices. Even though many child actors have voiced the Peanuts gang since 1965, there's always been a consistency in how they've sounded. For this series, it appears the producers went for slightly older sounding voices, and it took me a little while to get used to that, especially Charlie Brown, who sounds more nasally than usual. Nonetheless, this Peanuts series does enough right to warrant look. When Apple TV Plus launched in November 2019, one of its debut series was Snoopy in Space. Produced in cooperation with NASA, this involves Snoopy wishing to be an astronaut, learning about what the job involves. There's an educational component in the series, as the audience is informed about how one winds up on the moon, all the training involved, and what actions are performed in outer space. 
The scripts are very smart and they're able to teach these subjects while still being entertaining. The episodes are also very funny, and I really have to compliment the animators at Wild Brain for their excellent work here. Snoopy and Woodstock retain their lovable personalities, and the scrapes they get into are certainly amusing, especially when they initially sneak into NASA. The children also get plenty of screen time, and are even given the responsibility of running the ground controls at NASA. Okay, there's a little bit of suspension of disbelief involved, but it's still a nice way of utilizing them. Charlie Brown even gets his own arc that's quite touching. If you've already watched Wolf Walkers and Ted Lasso, Snoopy in Space is something else on Apple TV Plus that's worth at least a one-month subscription for. Apple seems really keen on taking advantage of their Peanuts license, as Snoopy in Space has been renewed for a second season. And next week we'll also see the release of The Snoopy Show on the streaming service. It's good that these series allow us to see more adventures with Snoopy, Charlie Brown, Peppermint Patty, Lucy, and the entire Peanuts ensemble. See you next time.